Hey guys, welcome back to Games Mods. Okay, it primes now, um, but it doesn't fire the dart because there's some dead space in here, right there. Um, I'll open it up and show you. I'm just gonna clip that plastic away and you'll see why because it's not doing anybody any good. <laughs> they don't tell you that in the instructions, which they probably should, but whatever. Basically, it's, it's the same thing you have to do when you have uh, a prophecy. Um, I'm guessing that's with all kind of um, worker shells. You just have to uh, take away a little bit of plastic so the plunger tube fits. Actually, yeah, that is the exact same thing as a prophecy because I remember I've made at least two or three um, of those either in a Nerf blaster or in uh, a worker uh, shell and you do have to do that. I really need to take these out of the shell, but, you know, let's pop this open. And when you put uh, the barrel in, make sure that you measure with a mag with the magazine here. So let's see, the dart goes this way. So when you're putting this part in, you want to make sure that the dart, um, let's see if I can open this. Come on. Yeah, you gotta make sure that the um, dart will be able to basically touch the barrel so it can go through it. I think I've got it. That screw out. <laughs> so I can get the other one. Just one. No, it's two. Okay. There's that one. And the last one. There we go. Okay. So, as you can see, when you put the mag in right here, the barrel is right up against it basically. But you see there's there's some dead space right there so the air can escape. You don't want that. So go ahead and take the magazine back out. And what we're gonna do is take this whole thing out. Come on. I didn't want to take this out, but I'm gonna have to. Okay, so the dead space I'm talking about, see these three tabs here? I think this one can stay, but these three small ones, and that should be fine, but these three need to go. Um, because when you put in just a plunger tube, it barely fits right there, and you can even see some of the dead space, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. I mean, I know it's, it doesn't say to, but I mean, when you have the thing in there, it doesn't even, it, it doesn't touch it. So, I mean, when I did put this together and it was quote unquote working, what I had to do is, you know, I primed it and then I shoved the barrel in, pushing the dart back to seal it. And I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. Oh wait, maybe you are. Oh yeah, you are. Oh, so I had it right. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's just put this back together. Interesting. I wouldn't think you would need to do that. Okay, well, that's good to know. You wanna make sure that the spring is passed. Just the first half, I thought I had to go like all the way towards that one but if there's no possible way. I tried it with all sorts of tools, um, but you just need to pass that one, no, it's fine. 
to see that even up. Can you see it? Sorry if my big head's in the way, I'm just trying to see where the turn of the spring is because I want it to be upwards. There we go. Just to make sure that um, it catches all the way. Cut spring in this right spot. Put the spring in there. I mean, the spring itself is pretty strong, but <laughs> the catch spring is even stronger and it's harder to deal with, as you can see. You need like a tool to put it underneath this piece of plastic right here. There we go. All right, cool. Make sure that's in there, just like that. There we go. Okay, let's put it all back together and then we'll test it. Ugh. This thing always pops. Because it has a groove and it's not very cooperative. Don't get me wrong, I, I see how it's supposed to be, but it's just not doing that. <laughs> it's just very stubborn. There we go, okay. And when you're putting the other half of the shell on that takes the screws, make sure that this, this peg uh, lines up with this one because that is your safety. Um, when it's out this side, it means it's ready to fire. If it's on the other side, it's, it's uh, non-operational. And there you go, you can see it in there. So I'll make sure that the back's lined up first. There we go. All right, let's put the screws back in. And we should be good to go. So in a sense, it's kind of like a breach system. I didn't know that. Um, Cause whenever I saw, you know, out of darts or Dr. Flex or Walcom shoot theirs, I didn't see them having to push the barrel in. So I figured, oh, it's just, you know, it just fits. <laughs> No, <laughs> but I get it. It's kind of a weird operation, but um, I tested it inside. It shoots really hard. I haven't chronographed it yet. I'll uh, do that with you guys. Put a screw there, put a screw up there. Sure that back one's nice and tight because that's the one that's going to save you in the long run. Okay. We got three more. We'll put the scar barrel on too. Here and the one in front. And the uh, the pullback on this thing is very strong. Um, my advice is when you're going to go prime it, do it fast because if you do it too slow, your arm will get tired real quick. Um, I'm going to take this out for a second. Load up two more, so I have three shots. All right, that goes in right there. Ready to go. Yep, let's put the scar barrel on. There we go. All right, uh, let's get our chronograph here. Seems a little wobbly. I'm not sure why. Oh, it's because it's already trying to push the dart. That's why. <laughs> okay.
Hmm. It's at an angle for some reason. Why is it at an angle? Oh, no, it's fine. Let's try that one more time. Push the barrel in. Seal it against the plunger. All right, we're ready to go. It's gonna turn this bad boy on. Prime the thing. There we go. It doesn't go that far out, but it goes out enough to where you need some strength to pull it. All right, uh, this one scares me a little bit, but <laughs> let's see how it does. Holy crap. 264.7. Wow. I only thought it shot like 150 maybe. Pull the barrel back out, and we get used to it. Okay, back in. Let's do another shot. Eighty-five point three. I must have hit something. All right, last one. Hopefully this one's more accurate. <laughs> 167.5. So, you know, it's between like, I would say 150 and 220 maybe, um, depending. Um, I don't think I have to upgrade this spring at all. It shoots pretty hard as is. But this is the very cold blaster. Um, I wish the instructions were a little bit more detailed, but basically it just shows eight steps <laughs> so it's a little odd um but yeah um it's pretty cool for what it is it's a you know basically a, a short dart blaster with a, re a rear prime and uh with a really cool translucent body so you can see the inside and uh yeah um i recommend this one um i haven't tried the cheetah 1.0 the one with the rival rounds um just because I picked this one, because I like short darts better than Rival, just because they're more accurate. I have nothing against Rival, I love Ri Rival. I prefer, I'm one of the few that probably prefer uh, Rival over the new Hyperline, just because of, it's more available and it's, it's not as janky as uh, people say that the Hyperline is. Um, but I'm glad I got this working to show you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll leave, uh, leave them down below in the comments. I'll leave a link to, um, uh, the Cheetah 2.0 here uh, from Luke from Out of Darts. Um, and yeah, um, the best thing to use short dart wise, I mean, these are okay, but over time these heads are going to break off. You know, I would use the Dart Zone, you know, Max Pro or the um, Adventure Force uh, short darts. Either, either of them are good. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they perform about the same, but probably those in this kind of blaster. But uh, yeah. Uh, Please uh, like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.